How you guys doing? Chris Ignato here. Thanks for stopping by. Now, I'm sure you've seen this primitive creature many times in your life. However, how much do you really know about them? Well, I'm about to give you the scoop on silverfish. Let's get started. Okay, so here you have the famous silverfish. And as you can imagine, it gets its name silverfish for obvious reasons. One, they're quite shiny. In fact, they have this very silvery finish. Secondly, if you actually have a chance to see it, is they move like a fish. They kind of move in a serpentine fashion really quickly though. Uh, if you've actually seen one on the ground or under a box when you've picked it up, you'll see that they run very fast. Identifying characteristics of the silverfish is that elongated tear-shaped body, long antenna, of course the silvery sheen, and these three long cirsi at the back, which are basically just modified legs. Way back their ancestors had legs in that spot. You could tell they're somewhat prehistoric looking. In fact, they're closely related to bristle tails. I have a video specifically about them on this link here. Now if you look closely, you can easily see that they've got highly reflective bodies. But what's really unique about that silvery exoskeleton is the fact that it's covered in tons of powdery scales which happen to be silver. If a predator, such as a spider or something else, grabs them, those scales pretty much just slide off and allow the silverfish to escape. Silverfish, unlike most insects, are actually wingless. They have a multi-segmented body they have lots of those little hairs projecting from it, and their legs, when you see them up close like this, actually are rather fuzzy and hairy. They've got those little spikes all over them. But from a distance, or without using a magnifying glass, they just look super smooth and flat. Another feature about silverfish is they actually have compound eyes like other insects. However, many relatives to the silverfish do not have compound eyes. They have simple eyes, if any at all. A neat fact about silverfish is, yeah, they run really fast, but only on horizontal surfaces. Because they don't have the appendages that would allow them to run on walls, however, they can still walk on walls, they just can't run up them. Silverfish are nocturnal. You accidentally expose one during the day, or shine a flashlight on it at night, and it'll quickly dart for cover, perhaps under a box, into the closet, or even into your cupboard which leads me to their diet. Silverfish have a very interesting diet. They'll eat various things such as paper, flour, glue, cereal, and just about anything starchy. They will even consume clothing. Now libraries, book collectors, especially antique bookstores, really dread the silverfish because as I said, they love to feed on glue and other starchy substances. An impressive thing about them, however, is the fact that they can go months without food, even up to a year, as long as they have some water, but they can even go quite some time without water. Silverfish can molt many, many times in a year. In fact, throughout their life, they'll molt from 17 to 66 times, and actually up to 30 times in just one year. That's really impressive. They're often found indoors, in dry or damp places, especially around plumbing. They love dry foods and books and closets. You can often find them in the kitchen and in the basement. So there you have it, silverfish. Now, when it's time for them to breed, it's actually kind of interesting. They have a three-part courting process. Uh, there's one point where the male darts back and forth and stuff to oppress the female. Um, they'll actually face each other and pretty much tickle each other's antennas. And then he'll uh, actually turn around and use his tail, the three cilia, and kind of stroke her with those and stuff. And then when everything's ready, she's like, okay, I like you. And uh, he'll lay a spermatoform. And she'll take that, uh, fertilize her eggs. Shortly after that, she will lay her eggs, sometimes up to 60 at a time, but never more than 100 in a lifetime. They'll hatch in a couple weeks and the whole process continues. So <laughs> there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Another creature, silverfish, that little uh, glimmer in the dark. Thanks for watching. Once again, I'm Chris Ignano, signing out. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, if you like this video, be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button 
but you gotta click the bell icon because if you don't, YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out. And remember, passion inspires spirit.